A dancing dog, a friendly cowboy, and a basketball player that sinks every shot. Described as the first of its kind, Beijing's consumer robot mall spans some 4,000 square meters. It features sales, repairs, spare robot parts, and even martial artists. Here on this table is an especially small, cute robot called Wukong. Wukong, show us your Chinese kung fu. We serve a wide range of groups such as elderly care at home, industrial users, and increasingly household users. We hope that robots will bring a new industrial revolution where robots can truly integrate into the daily lives and industry, bringing real convenience. China is now home to over 150 humanoid robot companies. The country is at the cutting edge of the technology. And with more than 100 robots on display, this shopping center has become a hub for day trippers interested in our metal friends. If a robot could read with my child, it would free up a lot of my time. In the future, I assume robots will certainly become part of my household. I'd want to buy all of them because they're all really interesting. I've thought about it, but my mum would definitely not agree. It's too expensive. Prices here range from under 100 euros to hundreds of thousands. This year, Beijing announced a 115 billion euro fund to promote development in areas including robotics and AI. And if all this talk of robots has got you feeling tired, you can come here to this robot barista. Just the push of a button and the machine sets to work. Although they're still limited in function and expensive, these machines give us a sense of how robots could one day integrate into our lives. But that day hasn't arrived just yet. For now, we have to contend with seeing how the coffee of the future might taste.